but I do my own research to figure out if I think Rite Aid would be a good place for me to search for employment. So who thinks it'd be fun to work in Scranton, Pennsylvania, where Dunder Mifflin was and the show The Office was based? Me. Well, since that's a fictitious company, how about try working for Rite Aid? Because it was founded there in the 1960s. Rite Aid is a, pharmaceutical, a successful pharmaceutical company <laughs> that has had a good history of many murders and many different acquisitions that has led it to be a large competitor in its field. So for a financial analysis, as you can see, in the early parts of the year, the company had a steady, uh, steady financials. But in uh, February of 2017, there became a steady decline. And this is because the merger with Walgreens was announced in which Walgreens would purchase all the leftover shares of Rite Aid for around $9. And the steady decline in February came about because uh, Walgreens and Rite Aid announced that the merger would not be closed in January, but actually closed in July. And also it would no longer be sold, or the shares would no longer be bought for $9, but around $6.50 to $7. So this has led to people becoming less confident in the success of the company and the financial stability. Also, there was a drop in early October, and that was from when the company when Walgreens and Rite Aid announced that the merger would be happening. So this merger has really brought a financial burden upon the company because people have become less confident in what it can uh, sustain financially. But when looking at if a company is a good company to work for, it is very important to look at the employment opportunities that the company has. So at Rite Aid, they have many different fields that people can work in. They have the pharmacy, the in-store team, uh, corporate headquarters, supply chain, logistics management, and many other uh, fields. Personally, when I'm looking for an appointment area, I look for somewhere in the legal department because in my future, I hope to become a lawyer. So if I wanted to work for Rite Aid, I would have to apply to, be, to work in the corporate headquarters because there it holds the marketing department, the accounting department, and the legal, along with many other departments. So I think, or even though Rite Aid only has one area that interests me, they have many other ones, as I stated earlier, that can um, interest many people, such as if someone wants to go into the medical field, Rite Aid is very well known for its pharmacy, and people can search for employment there. Also, Rite Aid has many different internship programs that are great for people who want to get a foot in into the um, area they are looking to study and, and later on work. Um, so if someone gets an internship with Rite Aid from the beginning, it helps them grow their job there and they can continue on, such as if someone starts at, with an internship at the corporate headquarters, it gives them a very good chance of finding a job within the supply chain management and logistics area, and that is a great place for them to work. So. Rite Aid, it would be a good company to work for with employment opportunities because they have so many different options that everyone can find something they would like. So when I, want, when I was looking for a company to work for, or a company to look at, I wanted to see what the public opinion was. So I created a quick little survey and asked some people how they felt about Rite Aid as a company. So over here, I have a chart which uh, as the answers to the survey. So I asked around 30 people or 29 people uh, a survey just asking them different questions on whether they liked Rite Aid or not. And these are the answers. So the first one was, uh, is Rite Aid your preferred pharmacy? And 10 people said yes and 19 people said no. And then the second one, the second question was, have you ever had a pleasant experience at Rite Aid? and 17 people said yes, and 12 people said no. And then the third question was, have you ever had an unpleasant experience at Rite Aid? And that is, 15 people said yes, and 14 said no. The fourth question was, uh, do the workers at Rite Aid seem happy? And 12 people said yes, and 17 people said no. Uh, the fifth question was, do you think Rite Aid is a safe and stable company to work for? And 22 people said yes, and six people said no. 
And then for the final question, I asked if, you, if people thought it would be an enjoyable place to work. 13 said yes and 16 said no. So overall, um, people that answered my survey believe that it is a safe company to work for and a stable company to work for, but not one that would be very enjoyable. So it shows like what you look for in a job because I personally would want a company that is safe and enjoyable. And a lot of, also a lot of the articles that I looked at and analyzed um, stated that while Reddit is financially stable right now, in the past and maybe in the future, they have been um, unstable and it's a risky business to look into. So personally, I do not think I would like to work for Rite Aid because I want a job that is stable and one that I would enjoy going to every day. Um, now, thank you for listening and I will take any questions. What was the hardest part about your research? Um, the hardest part was probably finding the, or looking for different articles to analyze because a lot of them were written by Rite Aid. So I wanted to find ones that weren't written by them to ensure that there was no bias for them. Did you enjoy doing this research of Reddit? I did. It helped me um, learn to research better and figure out what I want to do when I graduate college. I agree. Thank you.